the first thing we need to do is open up the Flockair homepage and we need to log in as a member in order to have full download privileges as shown over here so we scroll down and we look for the download center which is to our left and we're going to click on the aircrafts section this is going to open up the Flockair aircrafts webpage where we can find many Flockair planes to download but today we're going to download the Boeing 737-800 passenger and freighter version so we click on the download link and this will take us to the Mediafire page where our download is going to begin when we click here to start download after clicking here we are going to save the file in the folder of our choice and once it has downloaded we are going to look for the file inside our computer so for example I have it under my username FSX folder here it is B737800 FOA as you can see we have to decompress the file I use WinRAR for it and now we have the folder and I'll put it into my desktop which is for better use only and I'm going to open it and inside we're going to find two texture files the passenger and cargo versions of the 737-800 for Flock Air. we're going to install the passenger one so in order to install it we're going to open up the Microsoft Flight Simulator X folder to localize the B737-800 folder so we're going to open up the sim objects folder and the airplanes folder and here we have the B737-800 folder which we are going to modify so we open it up and now we're the first thing we're going to do to install this texture is to copy the passenger version with control C and we're going to paste it over here on the 737-800 folder with control V and now we have it here now there's no use for this right now because we're going to, going to install the passenger version so I'm going to leave the 737-800 folder so now we have the texture and we're going to open up the aircraft CFG or configuration file this is the heart of the planes in Microsoft Flight Simulator X and as you can see over here we have references for each 737 there is and each reference has its own number followed by a sequence as you can see is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 up to 5 over here so what we're going to do is we're going to copy or select first this reference press ctrl C copy it make a little bit of space over here above general and press ctrl V to paste it now we have two similar references and we're going to use the bottom one to install our texture so the first thing we need to do is to change the number as you can see we have two fives over here and we need to have a six to follow the sequence it's very important to follow the sequence so we put in number six and now we have four five six so Microsoft Flight Simulator can read this reference the next thing we're going to change is the title we cannot have two uh, equal titles in Flight Simulator so I'm going to add up here Flock Air PAX which means passenger now we have a unique title and Flight Simulator will ha won't have a problem with it the next thing we need to do is change the texture or add the texture name the texture name in this case is FOA-PAX so what we're going to do is only copy the FOA dash PAX we're going to press Control C and we're going to copy it into the aircraft configuration file under the line name texture press Control V and we have the FOA dash PAX this way flight simulator recognizes that this reference goes with this texture now the last change we need to do is with the UI variation name in here we have white but we need to change that because another plane already has white so I'm going to put FOA which stands for flock here it is very important to know that the UI variation has to be unique as the title so this is it we click on file you need to save the aircraft configuration file and now you can open up flight simulator and the plane and new texture must be there waiting for you